football club is just over there, about um, 250 metres. I'm trying to get hold of the chainsaw for mate, but he's got COVID, so I can't go around it. Uh, it's, the road will come to here and go that way. Three points in September is still the same as three points in March and April, but you know every game now has more on it because people are you know looking at the table and it's getting nearer and nearer the end of the season. So it's exciting. Yeah, I mean this is the business end of the season now, and this is where you want to be, still in the mix for everything. Exciting, um, yeah, and, and interesting to see where we end up. 12 games which will be completely different from each other in terms of what we need from personnel, the way we play. So, I'm looking forward to each and every one of them because, um, as is with in the way this, this whole season, you know, everyone presents a different challenge and needs you to figure out a way to beat a team and overcome what the you know the problems they present. So, no, looking forward to it, excited. You know, it's we're, we're in a we'd have taken the position that we're in at the start of the season. We're in a we're in the hunt. There's no escaping that from for for those top two spaces and. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's what we want to achieve. Um, so yeah, it's going to be exciting. There'll be lots of twists and turns and, you know, it'll, some days you'll feel really elated with the results and your own result. And then some days you'll feel flat. So, um, you know, some of the boys wouldn't have gone through that. So we need, we'll need the staff and we'll need the more experienced heads to, to, to guide them through that. This is Breakfast on BBC Radio Cornwall. Happy St. Piran's Day. Here are the headlines this morning, and the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has strongly criticised NATO for failing to impose a no-fly zone to protect his country from Russian warplanes in a televised... We see dreadful things on the TV every night, and, um, you know, it's hard to contemplate what is going on, but um, we just feel that... You know, football's very important to us, but we put the Ukrainian flag up there just so that people in the club can look at that flag and, rem and relate to maybe what's going on elsewhere, which is very important. We, we, we all sort of moan about things we shouldn't do. Hopefully it reminds people that we're all pretty well off where we are in this world. Nice to be back here. It feels a long time ago since uh, that Bridgewater game. I mean, it's a month, so um, we've been looking forward to getting back here. The, the record we've got here is is, is really good. Um, I think that's that's 11 wins on the spin now here, and we and we look tough to beat here. You know, defensively really sound, good going forward. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's lovely to be back here. You know, the grounds in, improving all the time. You know, it's more work done on it this week. Um, the pitch is in great condition. Billy's done a fantastic job because you know it's been still wet early in the week. So it's lovely to get back here and lovely to put on a performance because uh, I thought in patches. The, the boys were outstanding today. Some of the in at play was, was really, really sharp, uh, really lively. 
start of a big week. Uh, it's a good start, um, but yes, still lots and lots of challenges to come, lots of twists and turns, no doubt. But um, yes, yeah, nice feeling today. We set it at Bitten, we set it against Bridgewater, and look what happens. You are the team that if they win every game, you win the league. So go out, knowing that, knowing that you've got to compete, and what your jobs are, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you do those two things, we come back in here with three points. Go and enjoy it, enjoy the occasion, good luck. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. next one. Go that way, these guys down, stretch him. Uh, it's what you sign up for at the start of the season, you want to be involved in these big games and Wednesday night, night like this, horrible weather, that's what it's all about. tonight um, it, it, painful to watch um, I thought we gave they scored from two set pieces first half which you know we know that's what they're about you know it's a perfect night for them and we just didn't defend the set pieces well enough um, we had a great chance at 1-0 which we didn't take and um, you come in at 2-0 at places like this listen it's the hardest away game of the season everyone knows that you know it's, it's a really tough place to come but we just didn't adapt well enough today um, it's something we need to be better at we didn't adapt to the way they play, you know, they narrow narrow four four two and didn't move the ball well enough to, to exploit the areas and, and and just conceded terrible goals. You know, we're really just soft. They were soft goals. Um, you know, and it, it's fine margins. You know, we have a great chance that it gets blocked by our own player on the line and it could have been very different. But uh, clutching at straws a little bit there, I think they they, they did a job and they thoroughly deserved the win. Um, and and but the you know the boys need to learn from that. You know, that's what you need to do at this level sometimes and. It can't always be pretty. Nights like tonight, it was never going to be pretty. Um, so we have to match teams doing the ugly stuff, and, and Exmouth do the ugly stuff the best there is, you know, on this pitch as well. So um, they did it, and they, they 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 executed, you know, what they do really really well, and and, and got their rewards. We've done a lot of debriefing as, as staff over, since Wednesday and I think we're still very much torn. There were some, some really good aspects, there were some really naive parts of that game and I think, um, I think we'll probably learn more from it than we would have done had we gone and won. And I know that sounds silly but I think that it's, it's probably quite a landmark game of the season and I think there'll be a, um, a, a, lot, a lot of maturity from, from Wednesday night um, and hopefully the squad, I'm sure the players will. But, us as a squad of, of players and staff need to bounce back from that and learn where we went wrong because it wasn't just any one individual or it wasn't just a case of getting bullied. I think it's maybe the way we set ourselves up and, and uh, the way we approach the game which needs addressing as well. I feel sorry for the boys today. Can they play football in this? It's horrible for them, isn't it? Poor buggers. All they want to do is play a bit of football and they aren't going to show today, is it? It's going to be sad, really. But here we are. Just come in. That's it, mate. Uh, yeah. Look at the weather radar. What's off the sillies? Yeah. And it's all coming all this coming way, you think, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we live in hope that it might get sucked up the channel, yeah. but it ain't going to happen there, we got no. it there. It's going to be full on. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm 
telling you, I've just been out there. This is gonna be the worst of the bunch today, weather-wise. It is horrendous out there. The pitch, when I got here, was magnificent. In an hour and a half time, it's gonna be like the song. It's gonna be horrible. I think for the team it's been it's been good, especially again at home. You know, it's nice to be back at home again uh, today because the, the the run of results has been really good at home. But I think what's been nice is we've navigated the most difficult period in terms of pitches. Um, you know, the, the weather that at this time of year the pitch is always going to be difficult, and and you know it doesn't always suit the way we try and play. But we've adapted really well this year, um, and actually. Probably our, arguably our worst run of the season was at the start of the season when the pitches were good. So, uh, so no, we've adapted. The team have adapted really, really well. Um, so it's it's nice because it's probably not a period of the year where people think that we're going to do as well as as well as we have done. So, no, we've done well. Um, you know, and we're, we're squad wise, we're we, we've been really settled and we've been lucky with injuries and what have you. So, um, yeah, we're, we're in a good place. got to be played on and it was perfect before we started you can't plan on what comes out the sky so it is what it is I think the referee and the players did well to keep the game going I know it's cut up but it'll be right for next week it'll be all right what are you going to do now to get it back to um have the courage to do nothing for a day or two let it settle down and uh, once it dries out get the machinery on it and put it right but up until that point just walk around with a fork and get as many divots out as you can by hand and like I say, I have the courage to do nothing. If, it's, if you put anything on a big too early, you'll destroy it. So it'll be all right. Football club is just over there, about um, 250 metres. So, and down here on the left, about um, 50 metres. There's a there's an entrance there, a very very old fifth 1950s entrance. It's very narrow for small took small tractors. We're going to make that a lot wider to get the splay, so that the vehicles coming in either direction, you know, it's a health and safety thing. You're the highways and the road will go directly into Trungle then 
uh, Trungle Park, which um, creates a lot easier access for coaches, our caravans for our camping, and uh, easy access for the players to get in and not driving down the wiggly lanes through Paul. Um, and also as well, it keeps all our neighbors happy. There's the church down in the village there and Mounts Bay in the distance. This boundary here is where our land starts, the football club. So the road will come straight through um, here and turn slightly that way through those shrubs and in it, the road will just end into the car park. So I took that out yesterday. This could come out. There we are. Let's get this one in. It won't be a one minute job because I'm not as fit as I used to be. Uh, I can remember 40 years ago people talking about doing it, but we've actually got to this stage now of doing it, which is fantastic. But it'll be uh, so much better for us. It'll just open up the whole club. Yes. Get in. My name's Tom Patrick. Um, I used to play for the club years ago. Um, and now we do a lot of work for the club. Um, we built a new stand. Um, we've done all the hard standing and at the moment we're currently um, doing the new road into the football club. That's a big job um, and also it's a, it's a good job because um, the villagers, I think they're all behind it because they don't want all the, all the match day traffic going through the village so um, they're all behind it and it would be so much better for the campers as well. Um, so yeah, it would be a really exciting project. Welcome, this is Saturday's Five Live Sport. What a busy weekend we have for you here on Five Live. In fact, it's, it's been a busy few days, hasn't it? Privileged to be at Cheltenham yesterday as Rachel Blackmore and Apple won the Gold Cup. It's all weekend, you'll get the FA Cup and the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, this is the business end of the season now and this is where you want to be, still in the mix for everything. Um, nine games to go, still in with a chance of promotion in the league. Um, but we've obviously got a long way to go. We've, we've, we've worked really hard to get ourselves in a good position and um, every game's massive from now on. I think we've just got to take each game as it comes, not get carried away, not be too you know, wary of where we are in the table and just today's a massive game, we've come here, nice setup, um, win this game and, and take each game as it comes and see, see where we end up, you know? OK, this is boys, team today, Oli in goal, Josh Otto right back, Gov, Max, Paolo, Bertie, Tao Cow, Macker on the right, Goldie through the middle, Hayden on the left, okay, which gives us Kais, Charlie, Simsy, Bill and Louis. We get it right, it's a big pitch, you go and win that battle, it'll give us a great start. Get the ball to our white players, get 1v1s, get full backs joining in, and when we get in the final third, can we hit those areas we worked on, on Thursday? Cutbacks, quality, goals, okay?
first half um, and probably the most um, important half-time chat we've probably had certainly since I've been here because we needed something different second half um, and I'm unbelievably proud of the team the way they were at the second half to go and score five goals uh, uh, against a good side um, says a lot about their character um, when the first half was really tricky you know they were they were thoroughly deserved of their 1-0 lead um, and so to have that reaction second half is really pleasing and says a lot and um, you know lots of credit to the boys you know big credit to, to, to Fletch as well he deserves a, a nod you know he suggested about flipping the wingers and, and, and swapping over and Maka was really key in the first two goals as well so big nod to him but it is, it's, it's a massive collective effort across the, across the team today um, and yeah that second half tells me a lot about that group the reaction was massive second half you know they looked a different side and, and some of the football second half was Outstanding, and in a, in a way, it's disappointing we didn't add a few more. But I, I, yeah, I'm immensely proud of the group today. <laughs> Get in! <laughs>